Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vlogs. It's Tracy here. And I've got a few things to show you today, um, including how I'm getting on with my knitting. And here we are. I've not gone very far with it because yesterday we had company and um, I had river around. So I don't like to have my knitting needles around. Um, but here we are. It's, got, it's grown a bit. Uh, not a lot, but it has grown a bit. So here we are. This is the... Um, uh way the colours are working up. I absolutely love this green part. Really beautiful. I'm getting quite close to the change to yellow and then maybe, I don't know if it'll go from yellow to the pink and then the mauve, but I absolutely love this. It's working up really well. It is quite hard to see, I have to say, as, you know, <laughs> as the eyesight deteriorates, but I'm getting there. I was toying with the idea of trying some circular hooks to see um, or interchangeables or something because I'm going to have to change needles very soon. But um, I start with my mum's. Those are my mum's antique hooks. Um, Millwood probably. I don't know. And these are the next ones. These are size four and those are three two fives. Yeah, really old, really old and bent, but um, the old clicky clacky ones. It's what I learnt on, so I'm kind of familiar. <laughs> I will try some of the newer, newer ones. So what's been happening is I've been on the purchase and I've been buying some storage solutions. And these ones, amazingly, the colours are identical to my website. So those are brilliant um, storage for my um, invoices and all that sort of stuff. But I didn't show, I did show those on my rocks chat this morning, but I didn't show these. And these are big storage boxes. And I can't believe these were only something like £4.50. Now those, um, those boxes were like £3.50 each or thereabouts. And these were only a pound more. And yet inside this green box, if I undo it, we've got this peachy coloured one. And inside the peach coloured one, oh, we do have a very small one. Well, this one is very small. <laughs> it's a bit of a jump. Look, it's a bit of a jump in size. I suppose there could have been, let's get this off. Uh, it might be taped on. Let's see if I can remove it. I don't want to rip it. I like the boxes. There we go got the, the band off it but um yeah there's a picture of them i suppose i should have realized the top one would be very small um but yeah they're nice though i like them a lot and i'll be able to put some bits and pieces um tidy up the yarn room here um and help me um declutter and make sense of stuff plus that small one i will probably be able to put some kind of um accessories in um, I also bought some little, where did I put these back? I like these though, these are, these are special, as I like, they're very special. And they've got holes in as well, like little greedy holes and things you can spy. The only thing is, I mean, a spider could easily live in there, couldn't it? But I'm not going to let it. So that's my boxes, I'll move them out of the way. And I also bought... I might have left them outside. Just some little boxes with those little claspy things. And I got them specifically because when I've got, um, when I do an order now, I've bought some um, little stitch markers and things like that. Some haven't arrived yet um, to put in as little free gifts and things like that. So that'd be cool. Um, and I didn't bring them in, but they're brilliant. There was three of them. Um, obviously I can put other things in. Like stitch markers I might want to use, for instance, like the, uh, my own. Um, let's put my, my little bent needle in the others. Yeah, so that's kind of my purchases for me. I did buy some other stuff, you know, um, boring, boring stuff like um, sunscreen and, and all that sort of stuff while I was out and about. I went to Wilco what used to be called Wilkinson's and they had I just went to have a look and see what yarn they had and they had some of that really beautiful soft um 
50 gram ball baby yarn in and I was so tempted to get it and then I suddenly thought really you know I know I made a grey and white blanket with the last lot but I still haven't done the tutorial for it and um to be honest I've got yarn everywhere <laughs> and I don't need to kind of buy any which so I did stop myself however I did purchase some yarn for Hobby Rocks um Hobby Rocks has been going for a month now it's flying by absolutely flying by and I did an update for the Hobby Rocks channel um, so I'll just go over some of those things with you now but in more depth over on the Hobby Rocks channel I, I, I did sort of highlight the areas we're now operating the brands and stuff and a little bit about the site but I've put in an order for some more Cheney cotton cakes because I'm running low now and some t-shirt yarn and it was pointed out to me about my price on the t-shirt yarn being ridiculously low um i did have it on special offer but even without the special offer my price is much lower than a lot of people um because of the size of these um humongous um cakes as well i actually know from experience that i did buy from Flying Tiger some small balls of t-shirt yarn they're not even as big not even as big as this Cheney cotton yarn and um, really small densely packed but I'd say probably about 100 grams and um, I paid a fiver for those and I did show them on this channel a long time ago when I did Flying Tiger yarn haul but I've ordered some more because I've run out of a lot of colours well, not a lot of colours, but I've run out of a few colours. And um, I've ordered some new colours as well in both, I believe, as well as some to replace what I'm out of stock. And I went out of stock of um, King Cole Zigzag, so I've replaced that order as well. So there'll be more added soon to Hobby Rocks. And um, I wanted to show you some squares that I'm working on but I'm not sure if I'm going to change them because I'm making a wearable. And um, once I've figured the nitty gritty, I'm going to do a tutorial on it. And um, I think you're all going to like it. I think you're all going to love it. And um, I can't wait really, but I've got so much on the go. My old whips that I really need to start getting back out and working on. And Janus, I know, Gary's blanket. And the Gemma's Jumper, which I'm making of with the absolutely gorgeous and stunning yarn, which is the King Cole um, Tropical Beaches. And this one is Parrot Beach. Um, I do have a couple of those in Hobby Rocks. I've got Parrot Beach and Banana Beach. They're really selling out quick, though. Um, most places I looked didn't have any anymore. It is gorgeous absolutely beautiful to work with as well so um and i've ordered some more patterns that's another thing i forgot to mention over on hobby rocks i ha i have ordered patterns and uh some of them are for children i think i'm not sure if i've got any baby patterns with this lot but i didn't want to go mad with patterns just a few just carry a few patterns of um different ones and perhaps yarns that i am stocking <laughs> anyway I'm, i don't know why i'm whistling it's a bit annoying. So, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, that's it really. That's all I've got to tell you. Um, I haven't opened up to any new areas. We're concentrating at the moment on getting the styling. Now, Chris has changed something on the website. I'm not sure what it'll look like on a phone. Let's have a little look, shall we, if I can. And, oh, that is my... Of course it is it's my number silly phone okay let's see if we can find it I always struggle um, um, my fingers get the wrong buttons I think that's why so in essence this the, the site is still the same cannot find it why because it says not www dot it says we see what I mean about my fingers they don't always get the right buttons okay I have to do that 
whole thing again. Bear with me. I don't know what was wrong with it that time. Put the whole thing in. So here it is. This is what it looks like on the phone. So we've got the burger, as, as Chris calls it, which is where the menu is. So if you click on the menu, you've got yarn and uh, accessories. You've got um, hooks and needles and diamond painting and all that. So close the burger. And then we've got the buttons. So on the website, these are all the way along the top. And then you've got four in the end. So we've got crochet kits, mystery boxes and accessories. And then we've got the four that go in the square. But they are just in a line on here. And they are recycled yarn because that is mega popular. Um, special offers, teas and jigsaws. I love that icon for jigsaw. I was so happy when I found that because of the color. Look at the color, it was ideal. All the colors are brilliant. They all match so nicely. Then we've got the carousel, which does move very kind of slowly on the phone. Then under there, we used to have the brand buttons, but we now have blog posts. So the first one is, who are we? The second one is new products. New products, latest products, and the next one is coming soon. So I did ask for one to actually advertise other people's blogs and uh, things like that, but we haven't got that far yet. And then we've got the brand buttons. So we've got King Cole, oopsie, what have I done? King Cole and Karen and then Knit Pro, and Chow Goo, Wendy, Lily, Riolis, which are the diamond paintings and the cross stitches, Hayfield, James C. Brett, Serdar Paytons, Tulip, Peter Pan, Signet, where you'll find your boho spirit, Sheepies, which I know is not pronounced that way, Furls, where the hooks are, Robin, Retwist, which is quite, a lot of my recycled yarn, all of these chainy cotton cakes are retwist and the t-shirt yarns. I will be getting some other types as well. They do macrame string and other bits and bobs. Whether I'll get that or not, I don't know. It depends if everybody wants it. Then we've got Millwood and then we've got the, the last nitty gritty bit. But there's a lot more brands to display than that, I'm sure. I don't know why they're not all showing up. Chris is probably working on my site but those uh, blog posts are not a new feature they've always been on the site but they've not been that easy to find I wanted a button that said um, news and updates and you could press it but the other idea was to put it on the front page I think it's wrong on the front page I'm not really that sure about it I'd like your opinion so if you could go over to www.hobbyrocks.co.uk and it the beginning bit is the https dot dot slash slash so um if you could have a look and check it out and see whether you think that's the right place for it i i don't really think so i think we need to have a button that says news and updates and people can press it if they want because i think it, it disrupts the shop do you know what i mean have a look. Tell me what you think, because your your opinion is very valuable to me. You're you're the guys who navigate around that site. Uh, we know the site. We know it like the back of our hand because we've been writing it. But you guys are the ones who will navigate around it and won't know the inside and out of it. So you can tell me um, what you think, basically. But be gentle with me. <laughs> But if you think that belongs on a button, it just used to have a little head in and I didn't like that. I thought it needed to be a proper button that has prominence so you can see it and click it if you want to know. Um, but it is at the moment in the way of the brand buttons. So it can either go below the brand buttons. If you look on a, a computer screen, then you will see the brand buttons are at the bottom and they're in a nice little enclosure, if you like. And it can go under the brand buttons before that mauve magenta strip with all the contact us bit on it. So yeah, could go at the bottom there. It could be a button. What do you think? I don't mind either way, really. So yeah, watch out for more of this stuff because it has been really, really popular. And I want to make some garden stuff with it because it's durable. It's really, really durable stuff. You can actually use this to make for outside areas and um 
my you know my egg chair you those of you who've been with me for a long time have know that I out on my deck in I've got an egg chair which I absolutely love and um I can't wait for it to stop intermittently raining so I can get back out there so um that egg chair I don't know why they do this but they gave me a cream colored cushion for it and you know that's going to be fine for the first season but then it's going to get a little bit left out in the rain occasionally, um, a bit spilt on, sun cream on. It's not a good colour at all. So I was thinking of making some uh, a cover for it and I don't know whether to go for what colourway. Oh, I hate the word colourway. I never use it. I think this one would be the same as the, the cream. It might be a little too pale. This one might be a good idea, but I do have some more coming. So... Um, I'm not yet decided, but I want to make it. The only problem I've got is this shape. So it's going to be difficult to actually do, but I'll get there. I will do it. I've had an idea and I'll, I'll make something. But it needs covering because it's starting to look a bit on the murky side. And I will use one of these because they're so good and uh, durable for outside. Anyway, that's my new acquisitions. I love my boxes. I love stationery. I'm a bit of a stationary junkie. And if I didn't do this um, for a living, <laughs> I really ought to be a stationer. I don't think I'd ever part with any though. I love it so much. Um, whenever I had a job, I'll give you a little, um, uh, a little bit of gossip about myself. Whenever I had a job, I used to steal all that stationery. <laughs> no matter where I worked, half of it was in my cupboard. And um, I just couldn't help myself. A shiny, bright new pad I couldn't resist, even though I might have had a few of my own. It's like, oh, look at that pad, I've got to have it. And pens, especially if it had a pen that had something different on it. I would feel like a kleptomaniac for stationery, staple, staplers. You know, they're just so, I don't know why. <laughs> the prettier the stationery, the more I had of it. So, uh, yeah. That's just a little insight <laughs> into my past. Um, yeah, I did used to take most of the stationery home with me. And one of my jobs had the most beautiful coloured paper for a printer. So uh, <laughs> I used to bring up loads of it. <clears throat> I can, you know, if I don't say the name, they don't know who they are. <laughs> Obviously now I just have to buy it, which is a bit much. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. And I hope you liked my little show and tell. And uh, I will be getting on with those squares soon. Oh, that's giving it away. Well, I did say there were squares, didn't I? I will be getting on with those soon and show you um, some of what I'm making. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.